Got these new hives from Amazon, $111 a piece, pretty good deal. Come in a million pieces, kind of got scared. They go together real easy though, come with everything you need. All you need is a hammer. This is what they look like finished. I finished this one yesterday in about an hour probably. Once you get the flow of putting these million pieces apart together, it's, it, kind of, it goes pretty fast. So each one of these is five parts. So you, know, you can see it take a little while, but once you get the flow going, it's quick. Like I said, they're honey keeper. They're made in China. They, they, they're, they're really nice. I mean, I, I think for the price, they're pretty neat. And I think putting them together is kind of fun. Um, over time, you might not want to put them together. You can save you a little bit of money. Probably save 50 or 60 bucks. So $100, $120 I saved by buying these like this. And uh, I can have them on hand, not put together. And as I expand my, my aviary, I can, uh, you know, put them together as I go. But I think it's going to work really good. I'm going to polyurethane these. A couple of coats of good outdoor polyurethane. Not on the inside. Bees take care of the inside. Just to keep this nice and clean. I'm going to put them up on cinder blocks. Get them off the ground. Kind of that way I can I can protect from ants and whatnot. Either with spray or something like that. But I'm going to run out of spray. But I've had some hives get killed by ants like really fast. And, and that's a bummer. And they were they were pretty, uh, pretty strong hives. But once those... Fire ants in Texas took over. There was no, no stopping. So I like to get them up a little bit off the ground. And I'll show you that over time. But right here, good product. Honey Keeper. Only other thing I would suggest, once you get these made, they don't have any honey on them. I mean, honey, they don't have any wax on them. Buy some wax on Amazon as well. 100% beeswax. Still smells like the cans run, you know, smells like it does as it comes out of the hive. Melt it, get a little cheap brush, and just dab some here and there so they'll be more receptive to these frames. Um, plastic frames. The plastic frames are pretty cool because you can scrape the honey off and then reuse these right away. You can take it right back into the hive, put it in there, they'll lick it up, whatever's left over, and start right back at it. So it's a pretty good product. Alright, well I'm going to show you how to put these things together. Alright, see you in a minute. All right, so we unboxed it and came out to my workbench, and I'll show you how to put this thing together. It's pretty self-explanatory. The directions are silly, but they're all dovetailed. They're pretty tight to get in. This one is not as tight as the one yesterday, so I just kind of get them started. I got a piece of scrap wood here, kind of knock it down, get it flush. That way you don't hurt your dovetail. Put this guy back up here. The hard part's get it lined up the first second. Just got to get it close and then just give it a tap. And it just kind of walks itself in. So, back with the nail. I don't know why I had my camera. So, they were pretty big nails, but they didn't split the wood yesterday. Put them in all the Little areas. Fall for them. Try to get them as centered up as you can. It doesn't crack the wood. By the time I did this yesterday, it was pretty, pretty stable. And if you happen to have one of these handy dandy nailers, use it. It's quick. Put any glue. I don't think it's necessary. I'm going to paint them or I'm going to polyurethane them at the end so they're going to be waterproof either way. That's easy wheezy. Like I said, you can do that or use the nails, whatever you want to do. Nails came with it for free. And there's one part. And before I continue, I'm going to have myself an Ozarka Cream Stout Regional Beer. Really good. It's a stout. Really dark. Pretty smoky. I love them. Can't get them in Texas where we came from, so... <clears throat> Be right back and show you how to make the frames that go in here. So we're almost halfway there. All 
All right, now we're gonna make a couple of frames. These are the the smaller ones. This is for the honey honey frames. Then the other ones are for their nest frame. They're a little wider. Um, so these are kind of tricky. It's got a little groove in here. Put that piece down. Put this piece on first. It's easy. These are kind of tight as well. So I'll kind of just get them in there. Tap them all the way down. Side, side pieces. Once again, I'm not using glue. It's too messy. I don't think it's necessary. Put this top piece on. It also has a groove in it, so you might have to look at it, make sure it's in the groove. That's pretty, pretty neat. Tap it down, tap it down, good stuff. The nails have two sizes. We're using the little ones now, not that one. Use this one. And I didn't have any split yesterday. I made a few of these with these giant nails. I mean, it's pretty clean, pretty clean application here. Make sure you get them pretty clean because they got to go in a specific spot. Try to get as close to the middle as you can. I think one nail's plenty. Get that nail in there. If it messes up, throw another one. Like I said yesterday, I used the stapler for after I did one. So that, that's it. That's all my hand tools. So that's pretty clean. Um, so here is the and these fit right in there. There's ten of them. Ten for, ten for the honey, and then there's ten wider ones for the brew chamber. I mean, I really am I'm really uh, pretty impressed. When I got the box, I saw all these parts, and I'm like, oh shoot. Because in the past I've bought them already made, but you know I think it's pretty fun to make these. And I think I'm gonna leave this natural. I'm gonna get some polyurethane spray and just spray the bejeebies out of it because it, you know it'll really fit our outdoor area better naturally looking than the white box. I'll probably paint the front landing board different color, bright color, so maybe the bees can find it easier. But man, it's a pretty good product for 111 bucks. And you can get started in bees pretty fast. The only other thing I would do is, like I said earlier, is get some 100% some wax, beeswax, melt it, get a brush, and just put a few swipes on here on either one of them. That way they'll find it quicker. They'll find it eventually, but while you're waiting for them, they might make a mess on the inside and you won't be able to get these out. So I will show you one more time in a minute. The finished product but I'd say this product's pretty good and get after it. new water remember new water it's always cast somewhere different good stuff all right I'm gonna make one of the big the uh, brood chamber foundations see the difference in size you can use these for the honey supers, but they're significantly heavier when you pick that whole box to, to, to get the honey out. It's a lot, you know, 10, 15 pounds heavier than this box full. And so you might think about that in the future when you start to harvest your honey. Anyway, same, same deal. Back with the Ozarka Beer Company Cream Stout. Beautiful beer. Mm. Same thing, just a little lighter, lighter sides. Now it's pretty tight, but it goes in. Some of them are kind of tight, but this one, there you go, kind of mess around with them, they'll go in. Bottom piece on. Make sure it lined up. Use the stapler again. Beautiful. Such a clean. And for 111 bucks, delivered. Got two of them for 240 bucks. There you go. So there's your difference. In so hopefully one day this will be full of brood, and this will be full of honey. Maybe I'll take a couple of these out this year and steal some honey. But this will be their first year. I'll probably let them have a whole year for getting their population up and. I'm new to this Arkansas, it's a lot colder here, so 
they might need more honey to get through the winter than they did in Texas. So we'll see. But remember, fish new water. New water. You can't fish in the same place if there's no fish. Do it.